Hey, what's up? Nick Frosty here, and in this video tutorial, we are going to create a search engine. I'm going to be showing various techniques and methods of creating a search engine, uh, what you have to do, and everything. Uh, we're going to have a search box, a uh, text box, where you can just type in what you want to search for, and we're going to search through uh, local information we have stored in a database um, that we're going to go ahead and create. So, first off, let's go ahead and create the database. Now, the database, uh, I'm going to be using MySQL here. Um, and I already have a database created, and we're going to create a new table in the database, and I'm just going to call it search. So um, the things, the fields we're going to need in our uh, search database is ID, title, um, description, keywords, uh, and a link, I guess. And if you want, you could add a date or anything like that. Um, and how I'm going to make this is you'll be easily you'll easily be able to change um, certain pieces of information. I'll point those out later. That you can have it searched through any database table that you would like. It's in your database. Say you have videos on your you have a, a video information stored in your database for displaying videos on your website. You can then create a search engine much like this that would search through um, your video information and display it accordingly. Or if you do it for users, maybe you want to search through their description or, or whatever. Um, very easily easily changed. So we have five fields. So we're going to go ahead and hit five, hit enter. And so we're going to type those in. We have ID, title, description, keywords, and we have a link. <clears throat> so our link is going to be a varchar of 250. Keywords will be text. Description will be varchar of 250. Title will be a varchar of 250 as well. And the ID, if you're doing this on a live server, you may want to set the ID to an int, uh, or a big int rather. Um, and that will make it so um, if you have lots of information, um, it'll work more better. So we also want to set it to an auto increment and a primary key and scroll back over. We have all this information in. Go ahead and hit enter and it's going to add everything to the database. So we have our table created. Now if we browse, nothing there. So we're going to go ahead and insert some dummy data and we're going to put in some uh, some site information of random sites that could possibly be in your search engine. Now for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to put in um, other sites. Um, for example, of, I'm going to put in um, nickfrosty.com um, or rather nickfrosty's official website. Uh, the description will be welcome to nickfrosty's website, whatever. It can be anything, just typing in things real quick. Um, and two of the major things you want to keep in mind are the keywords and the link. Now the link is obviously going to be a link to my website or whatever website it is but the keywords are very important <clears throat> now each keyword inside of our keywords table um, is going to be separated by a comma um, actually no we'll just do spaces so each keyword is separated by space so say Nick Frosty is a keyword um, website tutorials videos web design so notice that web and design are two separate keywords so I'm gonna hit go and it's gonna add that to the database we now have one row in our database and this is our first search um, search option or search uh, search information I'm gonna go ahead and insert another one Google search engine a rather the best search engine because let's all be honest Google is the best uh, keywords will be Google websites web search and that's good or right, we'll go ahead and throw an engine and the link is to 
the link is to google.com. Click go and we now have two fields in our database. We have two pieces of information. So let's go ahead and go ahead and add in a third for posterity and let's say Yahoo. Don't like Yahoo but I will go ahead and put it in. To be honest I don't like any search engine other than Google. That's why Google is the best. Uh, description it will be a not so good search engine and the keywords will be Yahoo, uh, search engine, website, and notice that some of these search, uh, some of, of these keywords are the same. So website is in all three. Search engine is in Yahoo and Google. Yahoo is in Yahoo. Google is in Go is in Google. And that's um, a key point that I want to stress is that each of these will have um, specific keywords that others do not. So we can show that depending on what keywords you type, you will get different search results. So that's all I'm going to put in for there. And I'm assuming Yahoo search is yahoo.com. Go. And if we get click browse one more time, sorry I can't even speak now. Uh, we have our three um, websites in our database or three pieces of information of whatever you want so we have everything in there now we can go ahead and get to our coding so I'm gonna come back over to this uh, this pretty much blank and close that it's pretty much uh, blank file structure blank, blank structure for the search engine home now the home page is just gonna be our text box um, that you can type in whatever you want to search for and then um, click the go button or hit enter it'll take us to search.php which will do all the backend code and interact with the database and everything like that so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in some center tags and I'm gonna throw in an h2 tag or a header 2 tag and that'll give us a uh, large text and I'm just gonna say search engine and then I'm going to create a form our action I'm going to leave blank for now and our method this is very important our method is going to be get now normally when we're submitting information using a form we use the post method which will hide all the information from the URL bar now using the get method which is what search engines use it shows all the information in the URL bar so we definitely want to have that in there or else this pretty much isn't going to work. So we're submitting to search.php. All right. So we are going to have our different fields. Our first one is going to be an input type of text, name of, I will just name it K for keywords, and I will set a size to 100. And after that, we're also going to need an input button. So input type equals, or sorry, a submit button, an input button. We're using the input tag. We're going to need a submit button, so that's going to be our button that will allow us to enter in our keywords that will take us to our search page. Our type is submit. I'm not going to give it a name. Value is search. And that's good for now. So if I go ahead and refresh this page here, you see we have search engine, and that's a little bit large. I'm going to go ahead and take that down to 50. So we have our search engine, and we can type in what we want to search, and we can click search. If we click search, notice that it takes us to search.php, k equals, and then nothing, and page not found because I haven't created it yet. Now, the reason we get the k equals is because our text field, or our, our search field, is named k. And say if we actually typed in something, say we typed in Google, or and say we just typed in Google, hit enter, we have k equals Google. So our search term is Google. Now, say we typed in Google search, two words, we have Google plus search in our URL. Now, um, some URLs will change it. Um, some will put it as uh, something along the lines of parentheses something. It's the uh, H or the ASCII equivalent of a space.
but other other browsers will give you a plus sign. So our search terms are Google and search. So what we're going to do is with our PHP code on our search.php file is we're going to take each search term and look through our database and get our results. So let's go ahead and create a new file here and I'm just going to copy all this search.php and this will be our search page. So search engine dash search. So we have our search engine um, info here. Now I'm going to change this up a little bit and I'm going to get rid of the center tags. Now this may be a bad way to do this and to demonstrate it but this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to create two divs. Um, I'm not going to name them or anything. They're just simply going to be uh, empty divs for now. And the reason is because um, it's just I want to. I guess that's the best reason to explain it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our code here and I'm going to re-put it in to this um, into here. So we're going to have our search information here um, and then actually I'm just going to get rid of these divs. Never mind. Forget the divs. Get rid of the center tags. After our form, put a horizontal tag and then here we will have our results. So if we refresh and if we go to our search page and we search for Google search, it takes us to our page. We have search engine and then we have our search box, a horizontal line, and results. So to fix this, what we're going to do is in a search engine, when you search for something, um, your search results will always be in the box on the search page itself. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to make it so our search results or our search keywords rather will be automatically put into this box when the page is loaded. All right. So to do this, what we want to do is where we have input type equals text, name equals K, I'm going to set a value of something. And the value is going to be a PHP tag that will be our dollar sign underscore get, and this will be our K term. So we want to echo our K term here. And Normally when we use the post method right here is in post in all caps, but since we're using the get method because we need to get information from the URL, we want to use the get method here. So if we go ahead and refresh this page, you can see we have our search results changed here. And if we say, if we search just for something else, we click search, notice our K is now Nick Frosty and our search term is Nick Frosty. So it's getting that information um, and displaying it properly. So what's next is to, down here, is to have a PHP code block that will um, do all the fancy stuff and interact with the database, get our results, and everything like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take our search results and um, what's called explode them and we're going to use the explode function that is built into PHP. Now the explode function will allow you to create substrings which is just take a part of a string and our string being our search term or our k variable um, and our substrings will each be our search term. So say we have two search terms of Google and search. Those are our search terms. The explode function will allow us to um, create substrings of every single word um, that is separated by a space. So it'll take Google space search and turn it into Google as search term one and search as search term two. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create our um, our K variable or our keywords. Um, and I'm just going to name it K because I don't feel like typing out keywords. <laughs> So we need to use our get method here, and we need to get k. So don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.